The Empire's prototype and research project begins with a Think Aloud protocol where students explain their thinking about a mathematical concept so that we can understand and assess what they already know. How about finding that distance? How would you figure that out? I don't know. I don't know. Do you understand what the question's asking? Yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, I've gotten nowhere. I haven't gotten found nowhere. a solution for nothing. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> they then have the opportunity to experience the Empire's math game and see those same concepts in the context of this socially networked story-based curriculum. Empires is just this really engaging game that the students just love and get excited to play. It's a remarkable shift from the textbook approach and shows the potential of what educational technology can be. How much do you want? I want 10. Huh? I want 10. You want? Okay, I'll give you 11. Okay. Goats? You just wouldn't really expect that the trading of virtual goats or sheep or some other food source or the building of an empire would be the kind of ingredient that would really improve student math test scores until you see the impact on a student. At first, I saw myself on the picture on the top right corner. It was, I went, went cool. I found it kind of unique how people could trade and like just the system. The game was really interesting. Like. There was lots of questions that I hadn't known yet. Oh, dude, it happened to me too. Yeah, I know. I think the kids really help each other out. They love the multiplayer aspect, and that helps build their mathematical knowledge together. So then it's gonna be 20, I'm hating it. So 20 squared plus 23 squared. Empires is not only immediately engaging because students are working with one another, but it also provides for them a very powerful visual of the math concepts that they're trying to learn. As the workers began to lay the bricks in a circle to form the cylinder of the granary, they began, I'm sorry to say, argue. It is not to be 80 paces high, you sand crazed delirious oaf. Provident, please help us. How high must the granary be? After the Empire's experience, the Think Aloud protocol is a powerful methodology for us to assess what the students have learned. Well, I would try and figure out how long the base and the height are. Then I would multiply 10 by the number squared, add what I got together, and then I would figure out the square root of the, the answer. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You're trying to find the hypotenuse. I think empires will help students with the common core. The multi-step aspect of empires will help prepare students for algebra. So what don't you understand? 29. <laughs> So then it's going to be 23 squared is 529. Oh, we have to square both of them. Like any good web-based tool, Empires integrates with a learning management system and has a powerful set of features for the educator in the classroom. What I like about the dashboard is that it shows me how far each student has progressed. And so it quickly gives me how far along each student is or how far along the class is. I feel that it fits into my existing curriculum because it helps really enhance what I already have going on in the classroom. We use CMP, we use Holt, we use Renaissance Learning. Empires is by far the most engaging teaching tool I use.